Claude Tozer was born in Sydney in 1890. Educated at Sydney Church of England Grammar School and Sydney University, he juggled cricket and academic studies and was selected to play for the New South Wales cricket team in 1911. Graduating with a Bachelor of Medicine in 1914 at the outbreak of war, Tozer enlisted as a doctor with the Australian Imperial Force. He treated casualties during the Gallipoli campaign in 1915, but became a casualty himself, seriously wounded during the Battle of Pozier on the Western Front in 1916. Surviving the war at the rank of Major, Tozer was awarded the Distinguished Service Order and returned to Australia. Setting up as a general practitioner in Sydney, Tozer hoped to revive his cricketing career. Success in grade cricket with three centuries in the 1920-21 season led to a recall for New South Wales, which resulted in scores of 51 and 108 against Queensland, earning himself a berth for the Australian eleven in a tour match against the touring Englishman. On the verge of captaining New South Wales and possible Australian selection, Tozer watched the third day of the first test of the 1920-21 Ashes series at the Sydney Cricket Ground. He spent the day discussing the play with Percy Kipax, the father of future test player Alan, close to the side screen on the Paddington Hill. The following day, the 21st of December 1920, Tozer paid a visit to the home of Mrs Dorothy Mort, a patient he was treating for mental health issues. Tozer had also been having a romantic affair with Mrs Mort and had previously told her he wished to break off the relationship. Intending to see her for one last time, Mort left the living room and returned with a revolver. She shot Tozer twice in the head and once in the chest killing him. Tozer was 30 years old. A man who had survived the horror of Gallipoli and the Western Front was felled by a lover's bullet. At the news of Tozer's death, the Australian cricket team wore black armbands as a sign of respect and mourning. Standing trial for Tozer's murder, Mort was found not guilty by reason of insanity, but was held in custody at Long Bay Jail until she was released after nine years. Dorothy Mort died in 1966 at the age of 81.